Alright, Shalom. Call hello Allah, Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shah, which means all praises too. Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world equally call God. Bahashem, in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world equally call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Also, Shalom to you, uh, Akim, you brothers that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, Akim, once again. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst, which, as you see on this chart, the heathen nations are the nations starting from 2 1 down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, as I'm about to get, your lineage goes back to these people. As you see here on this chart, through the man, and if it's spirit, bear witness with his word, this truth that you, uh, then you are an Israelite to the speckled bird, man, when you talk. Though, once again, you do look like the other nations you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people on this chart. So once again, you will have Israelites come looking like the other nations, but they're indeed Israelites because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15 verse went down. Their spirit bear witness with this word that they are the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Most importantly, their lineage goes back to these people through the man, no matter what they come looking like. Their father's an Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. Also to the few Aqua, few few Israelite sisters out there that do listen, learn, believe, and do honor. And good to your husband, Shalom to you as well. To so uh, to the elect of Israel, wherever you may be scattered, Shalom to you as well. To your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, once again, you combine, consist, and you make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, who the world and we calls G J C Yahweh Shah. All right, let me just play this clip. Those who fought so hard for so many years to make this happen. But once again, America's bent the arc of the moral universe more toward justice. Kamala, Doug, like it or not, your family, you become an honorary Biden, there's no way out. For all those of you who volunteered and worked the polls in the middle of this pandemic, local elected officials, you deserve a special thanks from the entire nation. And to my campaign team and all the volunteers and all who gave so much of themselves to make this moment possible, I owe you, I owe you, I owe you everything. And to all those who supported us, I'm proud of the campaign we built and ran. I'm proud of the coalition we put together, the broadest and most diverse coalition in history. Democrats, Republicans, independents, progressives, moderates, conservatives, young, old, urban, suburban, rural, gay, straight, transgender, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. I mean it, especially for those moments, and especially for those moments when this campaign was at its lowest ebb, the African American community stood up again for me. You've always had my back, and I'll have yours. I said at the outset, I wanted to represent this campaign to represent and look like America. We've done that. Now that's what I want the administration to look like and act like. For all those of you who voted for President Trump, I understand the disappointment tonight. I've lost a couple times myself, but now, Let's give each other a chance. It's time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as our enemies. They are not our enemies, they are Americans. They are Americans. The Bible tells us, to everything there is a season, a time to build. And yeah, all right. So you heard that, man. You no, know, he uh, spewing, you know, he saw, you know, spewing uh, his rhetoric, man. And that's the uh, sweet words, like I was saying, man. But you, you know, 
you got now due to Joe Biden winning, you know, over Trump or triumphing over Trump, which like I said, fuck both of them. You know, don't really matter because both of them, they're both, you know, they're eating mice, they're the devil. Okay, you know, I'm out here, you know, just in case, you know, I'm out here taking a walk, you know, just getting out here, you know, in the earth, you know, in a nice uh, forest area. But, um, yeah, man, you know what he said? Thanks, you know, to you. Let me get that. Let me go back. Let me just go back and play that. To represent this campaign to represent and look like America. We've done that. Now that's what I want the administration to look like and act like. For all those of you who voted for President Trump, I understand the disappointment tonight. I've lost a couple times myself. But now, let's give each other a chance. It's time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as our enemies. They are not our enemies. They are Americans. They are Americans. The Bible tells us to everything that the community stood up again for me. Let me go back again. Latino, Asian, Native American. I mean it, especially those moments, and especially those moments when this campaign was at its lowest ebb. The African American community stood up again for me. There it is, right there. You see, and because of you, guess what? Well, so-called, because you know, that's not. He's in office because the elites put him in office, man. It's not because you uh, voted, but it was mostly, okay, I'm just going to put it straight up to you. It's mostly you Israelites, man. Mostly you, it's always you Israelites, man, that do this, you see? Especially, okay, you uh, uh, you so-called Negroes who are of the tribe, uh, I mean, so-called blacks who are of the tribe of Judah, man. It was you, man, you see? And you got... I'm seeing videos, you know, celeb, you had a, a video, you know, where, uh, with Spike Lee, you know, he, uh, popping bottles in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, you know, a whole bunch of, uh, Edomites and people around there just jumping up and down, yeah, you know, Cardi B, she's smoking three cigarettes in her mouth, you know, waiting on the results, you know, all folly, man, it's all, and it's mostly Jake that's celebrating, man, you see, you don't get it. See, Jake, you you still don't get it. You still don't get that this is your enemy, man. You still don't get that you're in the lowest estate ever, man. This is the worst estate that us as a people, you know, as a, uh, the Israelites uh, have been, man. Okay? And Jake's celebrating that they what? Voted for another oppressor, man. The same enemy. Okay? And then, um, so let me get this. You know, Jake up and down celebrating like, yeah, we did it. What did you accomplish? Yeah, you might got uh, uh, DJ Trump out the office, but guess what? Prophecy's still going to be fulfilled, man. You're still, okay, this place still ain't coming back. Let me get this real quick. I don't want to rant on, you know. It's nice out here, you know. The, this is Ecclesiastes. He want a quote out of the book of Ecclesiastes 3, which I'm going to get in that. All right, this is Ecclesiastes, right? And, let me see, seven, I mean two, right? It says, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living all the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better, man. The heart of the wise is in the house in the morning. Who's going to be the wise, man? Who's going to be in the house of mourning, man? The remnant, man, the elect of our nation, man. Two thirds of you is gonna get into what says, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth, man. You see, y'all in the house of mirth because you think you got rid of Trump, man. It don't make a difference, man. He's still okay. Joe Biden, he's still a devil, and it's, it's been plenty of uh, I've seen videos of him back, you know, back in back in the day, man, back in the eighties, man. Okay, there was one video. He was at some uh, some uh, uh, he was having some um, some speech. You see. And he said the N-word, man. Look it up. He said it twice. He said nigger twice. You see? Then you had 
the whole you no know, incident with the crime bills. You know, when he was calling them uh, that we need to get the predators off the street. Who were the predators? He was talking about you Israelites, man. You see? This was during the time where the, uh, uh, the crack epidemic was, man. And he was heavy on that three-strike law, man. You see? And you in the house of Murph, man. You feel like you got a victory, man. You still, Jake, you lost. If Trump, even if Trump uh, would have won, you still lost. You lose, okay, at the end of the day when it comes to this situation, man. You see? You in the house of Murph, man. You see? The scriptures call you a fool, man. Because here it is. You know, let me get that. You 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 don't understand it, man. You just don't get it. You you Israelites out there, man. Let me get uh that Baruch, man. What you celebrating for? You know, all this, all these, all these decades of this man, how he feels towards you. Now he's a good guy. Now you uh, uh see him as something. Now he's changed. You see. And Jay can't get past that, man. You cannot stop going to your oppressor, man. Let me get that, right? This is uh, Baruch. Right? All right, this is, uh, let me see. This is Baruch. All right, so I'm going to start at one. I'm going to get straight. I'm going to start at one. Alright, this is Baruch 3 and 1. It says, O Lord Yahweh, Lord Almighty Yahweh, God of um, Salaki. O your Lord Yahweh Almighty, God of Israel. Soul and anguish the troubled spirit cry unto thee. It says, Hear, O Lord, and have mercy, for thou art merciful, and have pity upon us because we have sinned before thee, man. We should be in the house of mourning, man. We should be in, uh, 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 thinking about, you know, uh, uh, us going against who? Transgressing the law, such as commandments, man. You see, this is the time where we supposed to what? Set that house in order, you know, and approve ourselves, man. It's not a time to be uh voting, you know, for your enemy, which that's going off, you Israelites, you see, and then rejoicing because he got an office, you see. You should be repenting right now, but it says, For thou endures forever, and we perish early, and we perish early in the system, man. You see, we lose in the system. As long as this man is on top of you, you lose. You don't win. You see? O oh Lord, how almighty thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children which have sinned before thee and hearken now unto the voice of thee, their power, for which caused thee these plagues to cleave unto us. And he's the reason why he saw us ruling over us because we what? We went against Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. We uh, transgressed against our power, man. And he put these plagues on us. He put these devils. And these other heathens are above us, man. You see? For our rebellion, okay? Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. It says, For thou art the Lord our power, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. We're not praising, okay, Joe Biden. We're not praising Trump. We're not praising anybody outside of how about Shema Shine. You Israelites, that's who you're supposed to be praising. That's who you're supposed to be cheering for, okay? The second coming of Yahweh shot, man. Not, okay, Joe Biden getting in the office, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, he's going to go into it. Right? It says, and this cause, and for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee and our captivity, for we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, man. We are still in captivity, man. We ain't in the, uh, uh, we ain't in the land of Israel. You see? Our enemies haven't been overthrown yet. We in the process of it, but they haven't been fully overthrown. You see? Where thou has scattered us for reproach and a curse, man. You still are being called black. You still being called African American. You see? You still being called Latino or Latinx. That's the new thing now. Latinx with the X at the end. Okay? Native Americans, man. You see? Which is savage, man. You still being called. You're not being acknowledged as, you know, the uh, uh the Israelites, man. What you are, you see? You're not being acknowledged as that, and they know it. They already know it, and the word is out here. So they know what you are, man, but they still calling you that. So you still a reproach, man. Okay, so nobody still wants to be around you, you see? And these 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 uh, uh these Trump supporters on the other side, they hate, they hate you, man. You see? You don't think they pissed off about that? You see? And it says in the curse, because you're still under the curses, man. You're still 
are under the curses, man. You're still getting gunned down by the police. You're still coming up short, no matter how hard you work. You know, I had a Jake in my, uh, ooh, excuse me. I had a Jake in my job, you know, brag about, you know, how, how he get money and everything. You know, he showed me a wad of cash. You know, he's saying, yeah, I'll get money. You know, you spending all that time thinking about how you, uh, to get money, which is it's not bad because you got family. You got to do what you got to do at the end of the day. But you should be spending this time seeking, you know, your how about shim outside, man. Ten times more like the scriptures say. He worried about getting money, though. He a two-third, though. Maybe he repent. Maybe not. You see? But uh, that's that's Jake, man. He's you still under the curses, man. Okay? And it says, and subject to, and to be subject to payments, man. You subject to payments, man. You see? That's another way to show you they're not free. You still have to pay bills, man. You see? You still got to pay everything. You still got to go to this... To these heating for one everything man you don't got everything on your own man you don't got your own economy you don't got your own money with your face on it you see you ain't got your own land you don't got nothing jake you subject to payments man but you talking about you free you see you talking about this is a victory man we talking about uh uh uh, uh, uh finally getting out of captivity man having our enemies overthrown man you see, having our own land, man, having our own sovereignty, man. That's another thing you just don't want to want. You want to be ruled over. You want to be, not only do you want to be ruled over, you want somebody of another nation to rule you, man. We talking about ruling ourselves, man, and then ruling the world, man. You see? According to all the iniquities of our, our power, our fathers, which departed from the Lord, how our power, man. And that's why, man. You see? We are yet this day in our captivity, but Jake celebrate like you want something. You ain't win, Jake. You ain't win. You see? We ain't win nothing. You see? You still in captivity. You know? Let me see. You know? Let me see. Salaki, bear with me. Alright. We telling you to what? We telling you to repent. To your how about Shima Sha? You know. So you could uh, uh uh so we could have all these things. All these things that you want, you trust in the Lord, man. Let me get that, man. You know? I ain't putting anything together here. I'm just rolling with the spirit, man. So You know, I've been getting this lately. You see? You know what? This is, uh, let me get Malachi. Get Malachi 3. Right? Look at this house right here right quick. Let me flip this real quick. Look, this is what these Edomites have, man. You see, what's like, compared to what we gonna get, that's nothing, man. You see, but this is why Jake... Vote. This is what Jake want. Jake want to be like this, man. Like I said, it's nothing uh, uh, uh wrong, you know, with one and a half, you know. You know, some, some like, you know, things like that. But, like, we got something way better, okay, than what these Edomites have, man. These Edomites have just a temporary small thing, man. This is nothing compared to what we going to have, man. See what I'm saying? It's nothing, man. All right? But this is, uh, let me see. See? Yeah, you, yeah. They don't get it, man. They don't get it. But, like, you'll, you'll find out real soon, man. If you can't see that now, you'll find out eventually, man. You see? This is, um, right quick. All right. This is, uh, I'm just seeing if I want to get this. Right? Let's see, I'm going to start that. Some might be bright. Right? Let's see. Let's see. This is Malachi 3 and 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messengers, and he shall prepare the way before me. And who are the messengers, man? The messengers, okay, really, uh, is, is the prophets, man, okay? And Yahweh is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, okay, to uh, what? He's going to break these nations, man, okay? And it says, He shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall, whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Cause we are the temple of the Most High, man. The house of Israel is the temple of the Most High, man. But even how much more the house of David, man. It says, 
Let me see. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? Who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and the fullest soap. And he shall say as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord Yahweh an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in the former, former years, right? And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be sw a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, and against the false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling and his wages, man. And who's, who's doing all these things, man? Who is doing all these things? Who's pushing sorcery? Okay, witchcraft. Who's pushing the, uh, 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 that adultery? You know, it's okay. It's nothing wrong with, uh, 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 if you're a woman, for instance, there's nothing wrong with you sleeping, you know, with multiple men, you know? Being in multiple relationships, having, you know, multiple baby daddies. Who, what society pushed that? Who's running that society? Who pushes that, um, who's a false word, man? This man's a damn liar, man. Everything that, uh, Biden, you know, and, uh, uh Trump, okay, spew up there, all these Edomites, man. They're all false swears, man. They're liars, man. You see? And you already know this, that oppress the hireling and his wages, man. Who's, who, who does this, man? I just did a video on that. You see? All these, uh, 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 uh. Here it is, they investing $14 billion in the election. But you got all these people that desperately need that money, man. Who's doing this, man? It's Esau Edom, man. And the Lord's saying he's going to uh, bring judgment to this nation, man. You see? And the widow and the fatherless that they turned aside the stranger from his right and feared me not, said the Lord Yahweh host, man. That's you Israelites, man. They, they plot on your downfall, man. They invest on your downfall. They make sure you stay in this, this, uh, you know, this black, Latino, Native American mindset, man. You know, you in the ghettos. They make sure you that, the, uh, the households, the single mother households, or, you know, however it's set up, man. This is their agenda, man. But the Lord says he's going to bring judgment to these people, man. You see? It says, for I am the Lord, Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. You see? Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances and have kept, have not kept them. Return on to me, and I will return on to you, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts. But ye said, wherein shall we return, man? And this is our people, man. You see? This is all the uh, Lord wants from us, man. All the Lord wants from you uh, uh, you Israelites is what? Obedience, man. Which obedience is what? Better than sacrifice, man. In the scripture, uh, uh, Roman, what is it? Romans uh, uh, 12, 12 and 1 or 12 and 2, if I'm not mistaken. It could be Romans 12 or it could be Romans uh, 15. I believe it's Romans 12, though. What did he say? He said to make... Our body a living sacrifice, man. That's all the Lord wants is for you to repent, okay? And you to uh, get in order, man. You see? And acknowledge that he is, man. That's all he wants. But Jake don't want that, man. You see? Jake uh, 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 don't see any purpose in that. He's going to say that. It says, will a man rob you? How yet you have robbed me? But you say, when have we robbed thee? In types and offerings? You are cursed with the, with the curse. For you have robbed me in these whole, this whole nation, man. You see, all these things that the uh, Yahweh done for us, man. Yahweh by Shema Shah done for us, man. What does it say? He daily, uh, what is it, Psalms, you know, 69. It says, he daily loweth us with benefits, man. You see? He, uh, it's not, uh, 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 Edom that's doing all these things. You see what I'm saying? You might see it in the, from the, in, the, in the sight of men, you see it like that. But no, nah, man. It's, 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 uh, 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 uh it's, it's Yahweh poem for us, man. You see? And, 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 and you, you, you Jakes, you take advantage of that, man. You don't consider that. You see? Let me see. Right? It says, Bring all, bring ye all the types into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now here with, said the Lord, how host, if I will not open if I will, it's like it says, if it will not, not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there should not be room enough to receive it, man. We fitting to get the whole earth, man. We not even going, we, if we, look, you getting the whole earth plus some, man. A hundred, we're going to receive a hundredfold, man. What these Edomites got is nothing, man. This is temporary, man. The Lord don't even like these Edomites. The Lord hate Malachi, uh, uh, the, the first chapter, the Lord hate, look, I love Jacob. I hated Esau, man. The Lord hate Esau, but he gave Esau this, man. You got Jake, you know, going crazy over this kingdom, man. 
So imagine us being these people. What we gonna receive, man? We gonna receive everything, man. We gonna be, we gonna be immortals. We gonna be the only nation on the planet to have immortal bodies, man. Let's live forever, man. We gonna have the plan, the different plans that the Lord got up, you know, in the galaxies, man. We gonna be ruling all that, man. Okay, I I do that. That's a separate video. I do a video on it, man. You see, we gonna have all that, man. We this is what we got coming to us, man. These these devils, these elites, they know that, man. This is why they want to, this is why they're trying to set, you know, a new world order up because they're trying to uh, make a counterfeit kingdom of heaven, man. What we got coming. You see? Everything they do is counterfeit to what we got, man. They, they just mocking what we try to have, but they doing it on the left-hand side, man. See? We got these things coming to us. And it says, now we'll rebuke the devourer for your sakes, man. He's the devourer, man. He's devouring you daily. He's devouring you spiritually, mentally, okay, and physically in this society, man. But Jake don't, don't get it, man. It says, for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts, man. And what did this man do? When Jake created what? Black Wall Street. What did he do? He bombed it, man. He bombed it. And you had a lot of Jakes that was put to death in that, man. You see? All your labor, all your labor, all the laboring you do, okay, in the society. And what does it say in Haggai 1 and 6, man? You you, you so much, but yet you have a bag, a, a bag of holes, man. You see? Nothing, man. You left with nothing, man. Crumbs, man. You see? It says, all and all nations shall call you blessed, man. All these nations, man. They're not calling you blessed now because what? You in captivity. You in captivity. Nobody looking to you for nothing. You see? But entertainment. To dunking the ball or throwing a uh, football down the field or swinging the bat or rapping or singing, whatever, man. Entertainment, man. They look at you as a song now. They look at you nothing more, man. Okay, they don't look at you as the uh, the rulers to be, the next rulers to be. You see? That's what you should be striving for, man. But it says, For ye shall be a delightsome land, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, man. Your words have been stout against me, said the Lord Yahweh. Yet ye say, What have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said, It is vain to serve Yahweh by Shema Shah. What profit is it that we have kept this ordinance and that we have walked morphly before the Lord Yahweh of hosts, man? And that's how that's the mindset you have, man. All you Jakes that voted out there, that you that a lot of you know you is like even if you didn't know you were Israelites, which the word is out here, man. The destruction is here, the word has been out here, man. It's been spread throughout the four corners of the earth, man. So a lot of you know you is like, and a lot of you still went and voted. And the reason why you went and voted is because you in that mindset. What profit is it to serve you? How about you, What profit is it for me, you know, to uh, 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 repent, you know, and change, okay, how I am, you see? For your Habash Masha, you don't see no profit in it. You see a profit in voting. You see, you want to see uh something physically, man. Okay? That's that's what it is, man. Jake wanna actually feel, taste, and see it, man. And you see what, what, what your how shah got come for us, you have to have faith, man. Okay? Without faith, like the scriptures say, without faith, you cannot please your how about Shema Shah, man. You see, in two-thirds, they don't have faith, man. Showing these them same two-thirds from, from uh, ancient Egypt, man. Back when we were in the wilderness, man, how they were murmuring and talking shit against Moses because they were hungry and, you know, they wanted to go back to Egypt. And the Lord ended up killing them, man. You them, them same, them same two-thirds from that time, man. You doing the same thing, man. You see? And that's why, you know... And that's why you gonna uh you gonna pay for that, you know? So but, um you you that's the mindset you are in. All you like I said, all you that um that voted, you see? All you are in that mindset. That's why you voted, man. You lack faith and you you uh, uh don't see any profit in vote I mean really voting for your how about your mouth shot, man. Your own king, man, your own ruler, man, your own power, man, your source, man, your real source, man. You see? That's that mindset that they in, man. You see? Let me get that. You them same, okay? The same, some same wicked Israelites, okay, that made a covenant with the heathen, man. You see? Let me get that. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is John nineteen and let's see when we start it right. 
all right? Because this one, you know, Yahweh Shah, he was basically delivered up, you know, to the Romans, man. And they was questioning him. Okay, I'm just read it. This is John 10, what, 10 and 15? Yep. This is John 10. And 8, it says, When Pilate, when Pilate therefore heard that saying, when he was more, he was more, the more afraid, and went again into the judgment hall, and said unto Yahweh, Whence art thou? But Yahweh gave him no answer. Then said Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? No was now, no was thou not that I had power to crucify thee and had power to release thee, man? So basically, Pilate, you know, he was, you know, he was getting, uh, he was acting real big, man. You know, just like how Esau do now, man. This is what Jake, a lot of you Jakes, you scared of Esau, man. You really believe Esau, you know, he's the heavenly father, man, that uh, he's untouchable, you know, that if you go against him, okay, he's going to deal with you automatically, man. You see, you you really believe that, man. You believe this man's the most high, man. You believe that your how about Shemar Shah can't do nothing to this man. You see? But what what what, what, what your how Shah tell him, man? It says the eleven verse says and your how Shah answered that answered thou couldest have no power at all against me except there were given thee from above, therefore he that desire he that delivered me unto thee hath the greatest sin, man. You know? And who delivered him up? Jake, man. Wicked Israelites, man. You see? And he told him straight up, you don't got no power to, basically, in today's terms, you ain't got power to do shit, man. You see? The only only power you have is what the Heavenly Father allows you to do, because the Heavenly Father controls Esau, man. The Heavenly Father uh, uh, put these, like I say, over and over again. Divine intervention was how these uh, uh, people got into power, man. They didn't get into power because of their own might, man, or because, you know, they were just mighty like that, man. No. The Heavenly Father set them up, man. You see? They ain't do all this on their own, man. It tells you in uh, 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 Isaiah the 10th chapter, man. You see? Hold on. They had no uh, game right here. You, know. you see? They were set up, man. That's what it is at the end of the day. You know? But, uh, let me get this. It says, um, and from thenceforth, Pellet sought to release him. But the Jews cried out saying, all right, so he was actually willing to, you know, to release him, man. He like, because cause even him, deep down inside, he knew, like, this man, you know, he really ain't do nothing wrong. You see? I don't understand what really what he did. You see? But well, guess what? It says, and from thenceforth, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out saying, if thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar, man. So that's what they said, man. This is what these wicked ass niggas said, man. You know, if you let him go, then you're you're uh uh, uh you're not Caesar's friend, man. You see? Cause they were a bunch of a bunch of uh uh, uh uh coons, man. You see? They love their oppressor, man. And it says when Pilot therefore heard that saying, he brought your house out forth. Uh let me see. Yeah. And sat down in the judgment seat in the place that is called in the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Kabatha. And it says, it, it was the preparation of the Passover in about the sixth hour. And he said unto the Jews, Behold your king. But guess what? But they cried out, Away with them. Away with them. Crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar, man. These them same niggas coming back, man. All them, uh, 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 he's... These uh, uh, Israelites that you seen out there in the voting polls, them the same jakes, man, that was here in this time doing this, man. And the bulk of this at this time was mostly uh, the southern kingdom, man. Okay, the so-called Negroid tribes, man. But really, it's all of you, man. You are uh, northern kingdom. You know, you voted too, man. Okay? And they back, man. You can't make this up. They're back in their lot, man. Everybody's back in their lot, man. See what I'm saying? Everybody, and you back. This is why you don't see uh any um profit in serving your by Hashem outside, man. See what I'm saying? That's why. Okay, cause you them you them same you them same people that's back now, man. Doing the same thing over and over again, man. And that's what. This is your last hoorah, man. You see? This is your last hoorah. So okay, you got you got what you wanted. But you got what you wanted, Jake. You want to bond, you got him, man. Okay? But he's still, okay? He's still subject to what? The prophecy of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. 
You see? They're going to do what, what the Henry Ford puts in their heart, man. Like I said, you them same souls back, man. You can't make this up, man. You see? Let me get Isaiah, you know. Them same wicked Israelites, man. Coming back. That coon, you know, low uh, self-esteem mindset. You know? I lo that, that I love massive mindset that you got. This is, uh, let's see. It's probably the first chapter. Bear with me right quick. All right. Smell like a dog out here, man. These damn Edomites, man. All these fucking dogs. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. But, uh. Alright, this is uh, Isaiah 1 and 2. It says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. It says, For the Lord Yahweh has spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox know of its owner, the ass his master's crib. Okay, which those are two, you know, farm animals. Those are two animals that's, that's, that's in space, man. When you see them, all they do is eat grass. You know, they're out in the middle of nowhere. They don't know what they're doing, man. They just walk in whatever direction, man. You see? But he, he Yahweh, Yahweh the, the Heavenly Father saying, you know, that they even know they master, man. You see, like a cow, you know? What about you? You see? And it says, but Israel does not know, my people do not consider, man. You don't consider, man. The tribes don't consider. You see? You don't, you don't even acknowledge, like, a lot of, Jay, you could tell them who they are. They don't care, man. Okay, what they tell you? They tell you, uh, 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 uh you know, you know, Jake, you got, you got some smokes. You see, that's what they'll say, or they'll be like, you know, um, Shalaki, I'm walking, but uh, you know, they'll talk about something, or they'll go talk about sports, man. Well, sports is through. You see, the NBA, the NFL, all that shit's through. You see, that's gone now. That's been, that's been taken out the land, man. See, that's all Jake do, man. He talk about vain, you know, uh, 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 folly, man. Nothing but folly, man. Nothing that's important, man. See what I'm saying? They don't consider. See? They think this is paradise, man. But you're going to find out the hard way, man. You see? It says... Hold on. All right. Yeah, they don't consider, man. You know, I when I came, you know, to this thing, you know, I told, you know, first thing I told was my mother and I told some of my peoples. And it's like the reaction, you know, that you got, I got from them was, you know, it was, you would have thought they'd be like, oh, for real? He's like, no, nah, man. They still asking, you, oh, you, uh, well, this was the time I was like, I was just getting out of school. So they was like, uh, uh are you coming, you know, are you going to college? So that's really what you want to talk about? You see? That's what that's all they want to talk about. They didn't really they, it's like it's almost it went in one ear and then it didn't you know it didn't come out the other ear. You see? That's you no know, that's Jake though. That's how they are. You see? That's exactly how they are, man. You know? But it says uh let me see. It says but um, our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil do his children that are corrupted, right? They are forsaken. Yahweh by Hashem Shah, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel onto anger. They have gone with backwards, man. Okay? And this is what they do. You see? All Jake, all Jake want to do is, 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 is smoke, you know, to mess with other uh, uh, dudes, wife. This is what they all about. See what I'm saying? That's all they about, man. And they, in and, and, and order, because even they know, in order to keep, you know, it like that, this is why they, you know, they put, you know, somebody like that in office, man. You see? That's why they do it. Okay? And you seen, look, look what all, you know, these, these decades of, uh, you know, our people voting. Where has it really gotten them? It's gotten them nowhere, man. Look at, uh. Look at Jake, you know, and um, let's let's go from a time period of what, like the 50s, you know, go just start at like the 50s, go actually to the 30s, then jump from there, man, 
you seen like but let's say like, like uh, the thirties, going in between the fifties. I say a little bit into the sixties. You saw everything. The households were still intact. You know the, you know, everything was still in order. You know, once you start getting out to the late sixties, seventies, that's when you started seeing the cracks, man. That's when you started seeing, you know, the um, the K, man, the deterioration, man. That's the that, uh, the generous state, man. That they they uh, love to stay in now. You see, you've gone backwards, man. You uh going outside how about shim outside has led you to go backwards, man. You see? It says, why should you be stricken anymore? You should you will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. And where's your whole head sick uh sick from, man? Okay? Captivity, man. Okay? That's what it's sick from, man. You see? That uh, uh Stockholm syndrome, man. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm not looking it up. You look it up. Okay, just look it up then. And that's what uh majority of you have, man. You have Stockholm syndrome, man. You've been, okay, in America too damn long, okay? And now, that's all you know, okay? That's why, I, you know, we tell you things like this, you see? You can't see past that. You think this is the end all be all, man. You see, and that's a, that's a, a mental illness. You could be, you know, sane, you know, to the masses in this country, but really... You have a mental illness, man. You in that mindset, you have a mental illness. Okay? No matter how you feel. You see? It says from the soil for you, even on to the head, there's no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores that have not been closed, neither bound up, neither modified or ointment. See, they've given you the illusion that, okay, you can vote now and you can, you know, drive a, drive a Mercedes Benz, a Beamer, you know? You could uh, buy a house. You could be all you can be, right? They put that, uh, that false, you know, that false way of living in you. And now you think, you know, you're free. Now you think, your, uh, uh, you know, all the, uh, how do I put this? You think that all the, um, the rape, robbing, and murder that's been done to you, it's been solved. Do that. That's just a, what? A delusion. It's a false, false hope. You see? That's all it is. You see? But you don't consider that. See? That's going to lead you. That's going to lead to your downfall, man. You see? It says your country is desolate. Your seas are burned with fire. Your land strangers devour. And in your presence. Because who's, who's in your land, man? Amalek, man. Okay? The ish. The ish people. I'm just going to say that. You know? The ish people. Which means to be like, to pertain to. Doesn't mean you are. You see? And that's who's in your land. What are they doing? They got, they having pink city over there. You know, kosher pig, all that type of stuff, man. That's going off, man. That's not us. You see? The land is uh, in the morning state as well, man. It's not just the people. It's the land as well, man. You see? Because the people are not in that land, man. But you think, you know, this is your land. So that's going to be your downfall, man. You see? It says... Strangers devour these heathen, devouring your presence, and is desolate as overthrown by strangers. It says, and the daughter of Zion, your, your women, your daughters, you see, are is left as a cottage in a vineyard, man, as a lodge in the garden, cucumbers as a besieged city, man. You got to look at the, uh, uh, look at the Israelite woman out here, man, okay? Look at the so-called black Latino Native American woman, especially the so-called black woman. And if it don't, apply, like I said, if it don't apply to you, it don't apply to you. So if you get offended, then that means it applies to you. But anyway... Look at all women, man. You walking in the aisle, you know, you walking outside, they half naked, you know. A lot of them are, uh, are single. A lot of them are just walking out here in packs, which they're not, that's going off, okay. The uh, First Timothy, the fifth child, told us in the what? To be keeping to the house, man. They supposed to be in the house, man. See, they got a family supposed to be in the house, you know, taking care of things, man. Nah, but they out and about, man. Walking around half naked, man. A lot of them single, like I said, you know. And a lot of them are messing with heathen men. You see, not knowing... Uh, 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 that you, when the heathen man puts his seed in you, you have his child. That's not of our nation anymore. That's of his nation. You see? But that's, but that's, uh, 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 that's what's happening. You see? That's what's happening. You know? This is, this is the state that we in, but our people think, you know, it's all good, man. We good, you know? Ain't nothing wrong. See, that's normal. Normal. Okay. But it says, except... The Howard of hosts had left onto us a very small remnant. The elect, the one third, you know, starting with the house of David. It says, 
We should be have been at Sodom and we should have been like Noah to Gomorrah, man. And you know what happened to that land. You see? What happened to that land? You know, they had what you see now, the LGBTQ movement, you know, all types of abominations going on that land. What happened? Fire and brim the Lord rained fire and brimstone down that place, man. What you think about to happen to this place, man? This place is all those empires and, and, and built into one, man. What you think is gonna happen, man? Same thing, man, but worse. You see? It's gonna be worse, man. But he's saying that if it hadn't been for that small, you know, remnant, we would've been through, man. We probably, we probably wouldn't be here, man. We'd be done away with, man. You see? But like it said, uh, Malachi 3 and 1 says Jacob is not consumed, man. You see, why is it not consumed? Because we have that remnant, man. You see? And uh, that's what we have left, man. But outside that, the rest of our people, they through, man. They finished, okay? All you that, um... That uh, that voted. Most of y'all gonna take the vaccine, then you gonna take the chip, and you gonna be destroyed. Okay, you gonna have to, you gonna have to be come back. Okay, through one of the elect, man. And this it's, it's actually not a bad idea, really. You gonna be programmed to be good, man, righteous, man. You see. But as of right now, uh, the bulk of you, y'all finished. Okay. There's nothing, uh, uh you know. Let me see if I can find that. You're finished, man. You're through. Okay? you two-thirds, man. Let me see if I can find that, man. I think it's uh, Psalm 69. You see? It's pointless trying to get through your heads, man. You're not going to get it. The Lord has it like that. The Lord has it set up to where you're not going to get it. You see? Let me see. All right. Let me get Romans, actually, 9. I think it's Romans 11, because King David. You even had one with King David, you know? Say, let the... Right? This is uh, Romans 11, uh, 7. It says, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeking for, but election have obtained the elect, and the rest were blinded, man. You see? That's the thing, man. Our people vote. Our people join all these false religions. They join, you know, the army. They join. They do all these things in this system, okay, and for, with these heathens to try to, because they're seeking, you know, for a way out, man. They're seeking, you know, for some closure, man. And the only closure you're going to get is through Yahab HaShem HaShah. But they don't want to go through Yahab HaShem HaShah. So they, what? They blinded, man. They blind at the end of the day. And it's, uh, the eighth verse, as, as it, according as it's written, because where is this written? Where I'm about to read. You see? You know? It's written in the book of Psalms. But it says, as, according as it's written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. On to this day, man. So yeah, they got eyes and they can see. But spiritually, they can't see, man. They can't see, you know, us coming to power. They can't see above or uh, 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 past America. They can't see past that, man. They see this. They think this is the kingdom, man. But that's the Lord, man. He's giving them over to a strong delusion, man. He spiritually blinded them, man. You see? And it says, And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense onto them, man. And that's why they can't give it, man, because that's a, a, a curse, you know, that uh, King David wanted uh, to put on them, man. He put on them. You had Jeremiah. He said, let the troop, you know, suddenly come upon them, which is going to happen. This is what's going to happen. You see, because all uh, uh, Biden is going to do, you see, let me, let me just read a little bit and I'm going to get that. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their, and, and bow down their back all the way, man. You see? Because, let me get this. Right? Going back to ancient Egypt, man. Because this is new Egypt right here, man. You see? This is Exodus 1 and 1. It says, Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob, right? It says, Reuben, you know, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher, man. All the tribes, man. And the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls, for Joseph was in Egypt already. Right? 
And then Joseph died and all his brethren and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them. You see, because, you know, the first, uh, you know, the first, um, Pharaoh, he, uh, he had the Lord, you know, uh, how he actually had, uh, allowed, you know, he put the spirit on that Pharaoh to like Joseph, man, to show Joseph favor, man, you see? So, that Pharaoh was okay with them, but they were still, you know, oppressed, though, you see? And it says, now there, and that one, you know, he died, you see? And then here it is, it says, now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph, he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it came to pass that they, that when they fall without any war, that they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them out of the land. It's the same, you know, you see me? All right, it's the same thing like they doing, you know? No, how you doing? It's the same thing they doing now. You see what I'm saying? Okay? All these, like, uh, wars, you know, that they fight, really... There, it's being funded, and then it's really a depopulation tactic, man. You see, it's not about uh, you know, uh, you know, protecting and serving, you know, this country. It's deeper than that, man. It's about uh, filling pockets. And it's about depopulation. Okay, that's what they're all about, man. It's nothing more. And this is what they were trying to do, man. You see, because they, our people knew at some point that they were oppressed, man. They said, you know what? Let you know one of them, you know, join, you know, onto our enemies, man. Because, you know, in, in ancient Egypt, you had the same thing going on. You had, you know, invasions from foreign nations. You also had, uh, uh, what else you had? You had civil war, like they're saying now, okay? You had infighting, okay? Which eventually led to the fall of Egypt. But the real fall of Egypt was Yahweh by Shema Shah, just like now, you see? So they they was like, you know what? Since we're oppressing them, you know, they don't like us. So maybe they'll join our enemies and we'll have, you know, some excuse to get rid of them, man. You see? It's the same they doing now with uh, Black Lives Matter. They doing it with uh, Antifa. You see? All these uh, what they call leftist groups, man. Or whatever part you are. You take something, man. That's what they doing. All right? And it says, they did, they did, therefore, they did sit over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. Oops, lucky. It says, and built for Pharaoh treasure seas, uh, Python and Ramesses, man. You see? And who was the modern day taskmaster? It's your police force, man. Even these politicians, man. They're your taskmasters, man. That's afflicting you, man. And out of ignorance, you can't see. You two thirds can't see it because you've been blinded. It says, and but, but but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with rigor, man. Okay, and made their lives bitter, and hard bondage, and mortar, and brick, and all men's service in the field. All their service when they made them serve was with rigor, man. Okay, and think of it. Trump is the old Pharaoh now. He's been. He's gone now. You see. However, this plays out. You see, however you how about my side of this play out. And who you got now? Biden, man. And he's finna do this, man. He's finna afflict you more, man. Okay? Because if you look up. Hold on. Let me pause this right quick. Alright. So, I'm not gonna uh, play a clip. But, um, if you look right here. And this is old, man. You could tell this is old. Because look at Joe Biden now. Look at him in this video. You see? What was he talking about in this video? He was talking about microchipping the population, man. So why is this not a coincidence that he's now in power and right when he comes, okay, and to the to office as the president, okay, the, they putting the, uh, uh, the, the, the RFID chip uh, uh, technology out there, man, because most likely he's going to be used to fulfill that, man, okay? You people, are, are, are you, you jakes out there that voted, you're going to be caught off guard, man. You thinking that, uh, let me get that, you know? This dude's a puppet. See, like we said, man, these elites, they already have who's going to be in office, you know, who's who's going to be in office a particular year, man. You see? It was already set up. You see? Let me get first dozen loonies. Actually, you know what? Second edge was 16, you know? Right? This is second edge was 16. And I think it's 15. I always get that mixed up. You Jace, you 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 two thirds out there. You think you in the good case now? You think now things are finna go back to normal? You know we finna get this country up and running again. You know the division that's happening. Okay, that's gonna be you know because I'm gonna probably do a video on that. Joe Biden talking about this uh, country is divided. He's gonna bring healing to it. Okay, we're gonna see about that. You see, 
Like I said, you subject to your how about shit, my shot. Just like these, uh, these, these dumbass elites are. Okay? But, um, yeah, man. Now you jakes, you think you in a good case, man. You people think everything's fitting to go back to regular now. Because you don't got stupid ass Trump in the office. Okay? But let me get this. This is, uh, right? Second edge is 16 and 20. It says, uh, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of scores, man. Still ain't repent. You see? What you talking about now, we got the victory. Behold, victuals, which is what? Clothing, food, you no know, resources shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in a good case, and even then shall even grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion, man. That's what's getting ready to happen. Okay? You think uh, Trump is our office. You know, you in a good case now. But guess what? Things is gonna get worse, man. Especially under this man. This man, like, look, I say this man, he's a, he's just as bad, if not worse, than Trump, man. You see, look up the old, look up the old videos of Biden back in the 80s and 90s, man. That's where you always gotta go back. These politicians are old, man. They've been in office, you know, for decades, man. You see? Some of our parents, okay, was uh kids when they were in office, man. You see? Look it up. You see? You wanna see what they really about and see them now. You see? It's all up front, man. Okay? But you think you in a good case now. It's going to be your worst nightmare real soon. Okay? Um. This is, uh... First, right? First Thessalonians 5 and 1 says, But of the times and the seasons, brother, ye have no need that I write unto you. Right? For ye yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, how about Shema Shah, so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay? Because what is this most likely going to do? This election, uh, a victory, is most likely going to rock. Okay? You people right back to sleep, man. Just like them stimulus checks did. Just like uh, the uh, when the first lockdown happened. Okay? What happened? You people went from uh, panicking, being in distress, which people still are distressed. But you went from panicking and being in distress, okay, to... Uh, you know, going back to thinking, you no, know, everything's turned back to normal. They they reopen, you know, some of the casinos, they reopen this and that. Okay, so you think, you know, you good now. You see, but, but that's uh, uh, the Lord, man. The Lord is perfect, man. He's doing that. He's making you uh, uh, believe, you know, that this place is going to return to normal, man. And that's the mindset he wants to have you people in, man. Because what? This has to be fulfilled. He has to come like a thief in the night, man. You see? But when they shall say peace and safety, right, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon woman with child and they shall not escape, man. This is what's fitting to happen, man. Okay? You, all you uh, people, especially you two-thirds that uh, did this voting, okay, you think you in a good case? Okay, you you good now? You ain't got to worry about, uh, 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 you know, Trump being an asshole and Trump's policies destroying your life? Okay, we're going to see because uh, Biden's going to be even worse, man. Okay, because at the end of the day, like we say, they are uh, both uh, uh, two heads on that one dragon, man. You see, what one dragon eat, the other one shits, man. They are uh, a subject and uh, obedient to elites. They don't care about you people, especially you Israelites, man. They want to destroy you Israelites. You at the the uh, the forefront of the the, uh, the plan of destroying you people. Okay, so all you people that uh, are you Jakes? I'm just speaking to Jake. Okay. All you, you Jakes that think it's, uh, you in a good case now, get ready for destruction, man, because it's here, man, okay? You get ready for your destruction because the Lord's fed up, okay, with you ignorant-ass Israelites, man. The word is out here. You heard the word. You just choosing at this point to be ignorant, man, okay? And the scriptures say if he will let him that is ignorant remain ignorant, man, you know? And that's what you choose to do, so, okay, well, get, get ready for you to, uh, destruction, man, Okay? Let me uh, see if I can find one more and I'm going to close it out. I think I got the point, man. Yeah, the most high is fed up, man. And we fed up, too. You know, you get tired of Jake and this, this cool, you know, mindset that they have, man. You see? This place is finished. All right. You know what? Let me get, um, let me get this. All right. Psalms 10 and 1, it says, Thy people 
shall be willing in the day of thy power when his destruction come and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning that dies do the youth. That's when you're going to be willing, okay, to serve your how about Shema Shah. That's when you're going to be uh, 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 finally, you know, caving to the point that this place is finished and that this man's your enemy, man. When he comes down, okay, uh, uh, with this wrath, which he's doing now, okay, he's just disguising it, okay, using this election, man, okay? But you wait until that comes, man. Okay, then you're gonna be one to um, then you that's when you're gonna be one to uh, repent, that's when you're gonna be one to come back to your house about shop, but it's gonna be too late, man. Okay, and this is what you're gonna get, man. Okay, all right, this is uh, this is judges, let me see. You know what? I get uh. <laughs> yeah, After quite a while. Right. And it says, "This is um." Jeremiah. Yep. This is Jeremiah. Fifteen one says, "Then said the Lord, How wants me? Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind cannot be towards his people." Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And so come to pass that they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said the Lord, How is such offer as for death to death, such as offer the sword to sword, these martial law troops, even these people, man, these other people, okay, especially when these heathens, you know, that's already prepared, you know, locked and low. Because like I said, you gotta understand, these Trump supporters, they're, they're, they're furious, man. They're upset, man. You think because you don't hear nothing and something ain't pop off that they not uh, getting fit to uh, do something about this, man? See, that's their, that's their ringleader, man. You see? They pissed off, man. Okay, who you think they're going to be pissed off at the most, man? You you tribes, man, because they know you vote, okay? You're the main ones that vote for Democrats, man. You see? And that's what's going to be out here, man. You see? They're going to bring that sword to you. And it says, such as um, R for the family of the family, man. First, the family of the word. That's going to be... The Lord's gonna have it so his word don't go out no more. So when all hope does finally break loose, which like I said, we can work right there at the door. Okay? You all you uh you Israelites that's been ignoring it and, and taking it as a joke, when you come to search for it, you're not gonna be able to find it, man. And then it's gonna be what? That famine. Okay? The second lockdown is in place now. All the a lot of places, you know, as well as you you know they've been kinda of quiet on that. They're locking slowly locking shit down. I know here where I'm at in my state, they're locking uh things down. And I didn't even know about it. You see? So, now people are what? People are panic buying again. And I'm going in the store now, which I went yesterday in the store. A lot of the shows were going back empty. The same thing you saw the first time back in March or April, you see, it's happening again. You know? So, it's going to be no food out here, man. And that's really when shit's going to hit, man. That's when really it's going to be official that this place really is done. Because you still got food there. And it says... And such as are for the captivity to captivity. What's that going to be? These different FEMA camps, man. You see? Because what do you think a lot of these uh, vacant storefronts that they have that's going out of business, that it's just empty buildings right there, what do you think they're going to be? They're going to be FEMA camps, man. You see? And who's going to be the main one stuff in the FEMA camps? You tribes, you Israelites. You see? They're going to be forcing a chip in your ass, man. And a lot of you dumbasses going to take it, okay? And when you take it, you're going to be destroyed regardless, man, even if you don't take it. You see? Which really, you're going to take it because the only ones that's not uh, uh, fitting to take it is the elect, okay, and the one-third, man. Those, the Lord, you know, the Lord, that he keeps them from the hour of temptation, like it says in Revelation 3 and 10. You see? This is what's going to happen, man. You even going to have, like it says in the uh, second edges, man. You're going to have people hold other people and children and women for ransom, man, in order for food and for resources, man. Just like you see, okay, on that, uh, that show, you know, what's it called? The Walking Dead? How you had the different cliques, and you know you have. I haven't seen that show in years anyway, but when I used to watch it, you know you have the one group. You know I didn't see it in years, but you had the uh, the main characters. They will run into other cliques and what? Some of them will hold some of their people ransom, man. You see, that's finna happen for real, man. You see, it's gonna be Mad Max, twisted metal out this bitch, man. You know. And I will appoint over them four kinds, said the Lord Howard, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour, to destroy, man. And that's what's going to happen, man. 
these animals that's ca that Esau had locked in these zoos, okay? All their damn life since the birth, you see? A lot of these animals that's way deep in the forest that the, 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 the Heavenly Father has hidden, animals that we don't even know about, man. He's fitting to uh, release them, man. And they're going to be a part of that what? That spirit of vengeance, like you says in Sirach, the 39th chapter, okay? To be used on you people, man. So this is what's coming to you, man. Okay? And you're going to be one answers and you're not going to find nothing, man. You're just going to be through. You see? He's going to hide his face from you, man. Okay? Let me get Judges 10. I'm going to just close it out. Here's something creeping, crawling up in the woods. All right. Probably a squirrel. But uh, it says... Uh... Uh, I'm ending with this uh, Judges 10 and um, 13 says, Yet ye have forsaken me and served other powers, other gods, man. And you, like I said, you look at Jake serving these other powers, but you really serve the so called white man. You look at this man as God, man. Chesare Borgia, man. So called sweet white Jesus, man. That's your God, okay? That's why you act. You act, uh, uh, you know, you act the way you towards, you know, the brothers and the uh, Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. But guess what? Go and cry out to the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, man. So when all this uh, finally comes to pass, all of it, man. I'm not talking about some of it. You still have people out here in Murph. I'm talking about all of it, man. Okay? When all this comes to pass, you know, and you calling on your Habash, you call on Allah, Buddha, all these other things. Let's see if they're going to deliver you in these times, man. And I can tell you right now, they're not going to do it. If it's not your Habash, and you're Israelite, you call on these other things, you're going to die. Okay? Just straight up. There's no good way to put that. You're just going to die. Okay? But, yeah, man. That's it. This actually, you know, this actually went a lot longer you know, than I had planned it to be. I thought it was just going to be a 30 minute video at the most, but. Spirit, you know, had to wait, went over an hour, so it's all right, it's all good, man. You see, so, um, call hello, I like you, how Shima was shy. No, your how right is out, which is Lord willing, this was edifying, Baba Kasha, Baba Ball, a Baba Ball, destruction to America, a Baba Hayapi, which is a destruction to the enemy, and uh, Shalom to the elect, and to you few Aquaf out there, you few like sisters that do this and learn. Shalom.